Let's tie on the hind wing first. So we're going to take our feathers that we prepared earlier, these nice Temex Tragopan feathers, and we're going to start with the feather set that we made that is the smaller set. Let me rotate the vise a bit, and let's start by applying this feather on top of the wing, right in front of the thorax, with a couple of X-wraps. Let's make two wraps that way, and then come around, sweep our thread behind the feather, and make two wraps that way. Now if I rotate my vise back to the horizontal position, you see the feather is loosely attached to the hook, but it's kind of tipped pretty far down on the far side of the hook. It's sweeping back this way. So what I'm going to do is loosen my bobbin a little bit, and I'm going to just manipulate that feather right up on top of the hook. And then I'm going to make another wrap or two in each direction to try to keep it on top of the hook. And you can see we did a little bit better of a job there. So that feather is now resting more or less in the horizontal plane. And I'm going to make a few more wraps to secure it into place. And I believe with the properties of this quill, if we now wrap our thread in touching turns up towards the eye of the hook, we're going to bind that quill down to the hook and at the same time the stiffness of the quill is starting to deflect the feather back toward the bend of the hook, which is desirable. You want this hind wing to angle back just a bit like that. So again, I'm going to check my perspective. We're still more or less horizontal and we're angled back towards the bend of the hook. So I'm going to continue to bind that quill down, not all the way up to the eye, but close to it, and then bring my thread back. Now I'm satisfied with how that feather is sitting, so now I'm going to come in and clip this butt end out of the way. 